Hello and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to take a look at the four steps to doing regression in Excel, including the first two crucial steps that almost everyone else skips. Well, the four steps to doing regression in Excel are as follows. First, you graph the data. Second step, you run correlation analysis on all of the variables simultaneously. And the third step, you run the regression in Excel. And the fourth step, you analyze that output. So let's go ahead and graph the data. We want to graph the data in a line chart. A lot of people recommend a scatter plot chart. I recommend a line chart, and I'll show you how to do that. And the reasons we graph the data, we want to make sure that there actually is a relationship between the input and the output variables, and we want to see if that relationship is linear or not. Okay, and let's go ahead and look at that data. Here's a set of data we're going to graph. We have a monthly returns, set of monthly returns. And the output variables are the tech index, and those returns are based upon the returns of the four stocks, Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, and Apple. They're the input variables. And in Excel 2003, we set insert chart, and I like to use a custom type of a chart. The colored lines chart makes the progression of the variables easy to see. Okay, and the data range, data's in columns. I want to select the range, that will be all of the variable data and the labels, just like we're doing there. And we're not doing too much to the chart, just keep hitting next and then finish. And there's our chart right there. And since we've used a line chart, it's kind of easy to see the progression as the chart moves along. And we can see the output variable, the tech index in blue, is somewhat of a linear relationship between most of the variables. Some of the variables digress a little bit from the tech index, like the Yahoo in yellow, we can, we can see that doesn't quite follow the tech index that closely. And the purple apple return, that's kind of hard to see, I'll trace that with the mouse, that doesn't follow the blue output tech index very well either. But we do see it's pretty much of a linear relationship, somewhat. So now we're going to go ahead and run correlation analysis in all of those variables simultaneously. And the reasons that we do that are as follows. First of all, we want to remove any of the input variables, the stock returns, that are not correlated to the output. And also, we want to prevent multicollinearity. We want to remove any input variables that are predictive of each other, that have a high correlation with each other. So let's go ahead and run correlation analysis on this set of data. First of all, in Excel 2003, hit Tools, Data Analysis, and then select Correlation, OK. And the input range, that would be all of the variables, including the labels, as we're doing here. And we can see we have labels checked in the first row, data's in columns. And the output range, that would be the cell that will contain the, the upper left-hand corner of the output, cell C19, we hit OK. And we want to reformat those cells to make them a little bit more readable. We're going to change that down to three decimal places in each cell. So let's format cells, number, and set decimal places to three. And you'll see it's more readable, a little easier for us to read. And we take a look at the correlations between the output variable, the tech index, and the stocks, the input variable. And we can see that two of those have very low correlations. Yahoo and Apple returns are not correlated with the tech index. We're going to remove those variables from the input. And now let's take a look at the correlation coefficients between each of the input variables. We see that between Apple and Microsoft is kind of high, but we're going to remove the Apple return anyway, so that, that doesn't matter. So here's our data, and we're going to remove the Yahoo and the Apple data, so we just highlight all of the Yahoo data, and hit delete. Remember, we're, we're removing this data because it's not correlated with the tech index, the output data. Now we're taking the Apple data out of this. And next step, we're going to run a regression on this data. So let's go ahead and do that in Excel 2003. Here's the data in Excel 2003. Hit Tools, Data Analysis. Hit the Regression tool. OK. Now the input range, input Y range, that would be the output variable, the dependent variable. So select Tech Index with the label. And the input X range, that would be the two stock returns, the independent variables. Select all those with the labels. And we know that labels is checked. Hit confidence interval, 95%, that's standard. 
and the output range that would be once again the cell uh, the upper left hand corner cell of the output and we have residuals checked we want to we want to look at the residuals to make sure that's checked hit hit uh, OK and we're going to run the regression and there's the regression starting in cell D30 as we specified well, let's take a look at that output there's a lot of output there and we have a video that goes into detail how to analyze all of this output and that is the next step analyzing the, the Excel regression output let's take a look at that regression output there it is and to make that a little easier to look at we've color coded it and take a look at our video we have another video on this on the website excelmasterseries.com that will go into detail how to do a quick analysis of this output so if you would like to be a master of statistics in Excel take a look at the website that's www.excelmasterseries.com and on there you can purchase the Excel statistical master that is 400 pages, there's four different manuals, 400 pages of easy to follow instructions for MBA level statistics in Excel. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.